for four, Texas. Show me what you got. It's like B Street and this Longhorns team is going to call a, what is it, a three wide set, trip set to the left. Mine, give it back to me. All right, second down and 10. We are closing in on the fourth quarter. Please be in man coverage. Yep, dot. Bam, got him. That's mine. We have to score. I'm shot. B Street didn't go for the. Oh, no, he's trusting his defense. Bet. Trust your defense, B. I'm all the way. No flags. Great game, B Street. Love you, my boy. Ladies and gentlemen, Clay Munity, welcome. Tap in. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to week number nine, where we will be taking off against none other than the University of Wisconsin. And they are ranked number six in the nation. It is about to go down. Y'all might remember this Wisconsin team from last season. They gave us a little bit of a dogfight. Their offense was high octane. It was hard to kind of control everybody. Our defensive backs got burnt to a crisp on multiple instances. But let's see if we can kind of turn the tide a little bit more. We won that last matchup against them. I want to see if we could do it again and let Wisconsin know you might be the Big Ten bullies. But where we're from? bullies get bullied but let's not waste any more time let's jump right on into it all right so if you take a look at the matchup we have this evening you will see that wisconsin like every other team we face off against in the big 10 that's not named illinois is beating us when it comes to everything overall rating wise they also brag the number one offense in the country they have the number seventh most points per game scored and they also tout the one of the top passing and rushing offenses in the land number 16 in rushing number six in passing and on the defense they are a top 50 15 defense and the one thing they do well is they stop the pass which is the one thing we do well i'm gonna try to see if we can get jay bates a little bit more into a rhythm as we start this off we need to remain undefeated in conference gameplay if we're gonna make it to the big 10 title game all right so just taking a look at our schedule you'll see our first two losses came from some very good opponents lost to houston in the opener and to clemson in the opener as well but we're going on a little bit of a four game win streak we got number six wisconsin we got minnesota at number 14 and number one the northwestern university we have to take down these squads as we clear out the rest of our schedule if we're going to try to make our way up in the conference matchups. We also got a user v. user matchup in Kent State. Struggling a little bit in the Big Ten, but he's a good user. We're going to have to keep an eye on him for sure as we close out this schedule. On Wisconsin's side, the only loss they took was actually to the Terps. The Terps gave them a loss in overtime, 44-41. to They took down other teams like Notre Dame University. They went down. That was the number nine ranked team. They also took down Rutgers, which has a very potent offensive run game and when you check out the leaders you'll see on this end mario harrison having a much more efficient season this year he's not throwing as many interceptions he's getting a lot more yards per game jay bates our running back has struggled greatly averaging about 50 yards and shout out by the way to willie perryman true freshman with 27 total tackles he was the number one outside linebacker when we recruited him last season and he's already becoming an impact player for us this season and for wisconsin you can see that they got a great quarterback with stone who's pretty consistent with his pass game and their running back who averages about 115 yards per game. We got to keep an eye out on these guys. I, I want to just make sure if we lose for any reason, it's not because that running back goes off because that guy is an absolute animal with 150 yards rushing and 143 yards catching. So if we can slow down this running back, Baker, I think we got a good opportunity to come out on the top side of this game. All right, we do want to get an opportunity to check out our Heisman Trophy finalists at the moment. There is nobody from Wisconsin there. You got the running back from Army, quarterback from Georgia, and a couple of halfbacks from Bama, Texas, and Rutgers. Some of y'all might remember Randy. Andy Miner was the guy that we went up against in the Big Ten Championship game as an absolute behemoth, but we still don't have anybody up there, but this season is still young. Okay, so I do want to get a chance for you guys to see this. As of right now, in week number nine, we have one of the top recruiting classes in the country, and that's because we had the following people commit to join our program. Coming out as the number 44th ranked guard in all of the country, B.J. Turner. Coming out of Sparta, Tennessee, he's a 71 overall. We also end up getting the number 14th ranked cornerback in the nation. Some of y'all know we've been struggling at the cornerback spot. He's going to be coming in. That's Bryant Ward out of Griffin, Georgia. We also have a strong safety, the number two best strong safety in the entire country, Jelani Evans, coming out of St. Cloud, Florida. He's a 77 overall. And then we got another wide receiver, which is the number one receiver in the nation, Brandon Foster. 
Told y'all, I know how to recruit. I know how to recruit. Number one wide receiver in all the nation committed to us at six foot three, close to 200 pounds out of Sweetwater, Tennessee. And then finally, at the tackle spot, we got a 6'3", 300-pound guy out of Belton, South Carolina, named David Newsom, who will kind of bolster a little bit more of that offensive line production that we got. These are the guys that are so far committed, and we have a few more that are on deck. If we can get these guys locked down, we will easily top five recruiting class. All right, just taking a look at the college football landscape. Let's check this out real quick. Looks like Northwestern ended up beating Minnesota last week. Anybody going to potentially fall? One of our users in the dynasty who has Buffalo in the Big 12. They are currently right now number three in the nation, currently undefeated. But Drip might have a really good opportunity. Drip, who, who coaches the Buffalo Bulls, might have a really good opportunity of competing potentially for a national championship. And I don't anticipate many people going down this week, but there is a very good opportunity that we can continue moving up in this ranking. If by nothing else, than our performance we're going to have against number six, Wisconsin. Yeah, and just taking a look at our conference standings right now, the only people standing in our way are Northwestern and Wisconsin, which are respectively the number one and number six teams in the country. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump on into it. Got to get the stops we need right now. I'm going to go over with Robinson. They got a man in motion. No. Oh, my gosh. Yep, yeah, we got to start getting it going. We got to start slowing the run game down. That's the one thing we have not been consistent in all season is being good at uh, stopping the run game. All right, here we are. Second down and seven. Ball on what looks to be the 40-yard line. Let's see if we can keep this thing moving. Crossing routes. Good tackle. Let's keep this rolling. Come on, defense. One last stop. Third down and four. Huge possession here. If we could start this thing off with a great defensive stand, we might be able to get control of this game fairly early on. I'm going to take Stephen Lane. Let's go. Come on. Great defensive stand, man. Nice and simple. We're going to go a nice, easy pistol set. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to line them up right here. Jay Bates, bro. Good night. All right, third down and 13. We have to get this first down, or according to the league rules, we have to kick this. So let's see if we can get this first. Got it. Easy. Rhodes up the sideline. Rhodes up the sideline. Let's go. All right, here we are. Second down and seven. Two minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this. Oh, that's easy. No, it's not. Yo, where's the protection? Third down and seven. Let's see if we can get this first down. I'll go ahead and make you... On that screen, what's the? How was it a delay a game? Third down and twelve. We got to get this first down. Yep. Money roads. Way to get to that outside, baby. That's what I needed. Come on now, give me in that end zone. All right, first and ten. Easy, easy. How about them Cowboys, baby? Offense stepped up, defense stepped up. We made it, we're making it work, man. I need my defense to show up again. All right, here we are. Two minutes left to go in this first quarter of play. They love running that trip set to the right. I'm gonna bite up on this. Yep. No! I don't wanna talk about it. So clearly their run game, they have a behemoth. And this is a grown, this is a man child. We gotta slow him down. Oh my gosh, he got destroyed. Sit your butt down, baby. That's what I need from you, dog. Third down. Let's make our final stand here. I'm gonna take this wide side of the field. Go to Robinson, that's a screenplay. Sit him down, bro. Nope, give it back to me. Defense is swarming today. Closing in on the end of the first quarter. Looks like they're in a zone. Actually, yeah, go ahead and take him with you. 
Good move. Jay Bates. Got to let Jay Bates eat. We got to let Jay Bates eat. If he can keep eating, let's go open up the rest of our offense. Starting the second quarter, I got Davis right here. Ooh, hold on. Can I get Jay Bates on that one-on-one -on -one coverage? Yeah, he's got a linebacker on him. Take that. That's a that's good for a first down, baby. We got to get this first down conversion right here. I'm going to actually go right here. Put him there. Easy. Lonnie. Mario Harrison getting in a rhythm. Keep the chains moving. All right, we are second down and 11. We have to keep pushing this field. Uh, we got Mario Harrison in the backfield calling all kind of check downs. That's a bad throw. I waited way too long. I, I threw that way too early, bro. All right, first down and 10. Looks like they may be in a zone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, James, stay in bounds. They're running a lot of zone right here. I might run some unders. Yeah, they're running a lot of zone. Third down and one. Easy. Give me the first down. Yeah, they're pressing. Oh, my gosh. Rhodes, go. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, yeah let's go. Send a man in motion. I might have this here. Got him. Give me that. Rhodes, all the way. That's what I needed. That's all I needed, baby. I ain't no killer, but don't press me. Second and seven. Look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. All right, second down and seven. Still got plenty of time. Go right here. I already know this guy's going on a corner route. Dang it. First to 10. Yep, change that up. Look at this. Stephen Lane. Bruh. Bruh. Quarterback. I got to contain him now. All right, here we go again. Second down and goal. I'm, I'm, I'm blitzing this. I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Look at this, dog. Look at... All right, second down and 10. About one minute left to go in this first half of play. Give me the route I need, son. Under through him. All right, third down and 10. Still got plenty of time left on this clock to make something happen. I'm gonna go here, put you on that route. That was a dirty hit, bro. I gotta kick it. Wisconsin with the football and all the time in the world. I'm, they might try to run this out, actually. Yeah, they are. Sit him down, sir. Good tackle, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, ending the half, first half of football, we got a tie ball game. It is 14 all. Man, what a great, great way to start this off. Had a couple of boneheaded mistakes that happened between our quarterback and the miscommunication between him and his receiver. Now we're moving to the second half of football. We got to be able to perform. If we're going to take out Wisconsin, we cannot have any more mistakes. We got to get this cleaned up. Oh, we do get the ball. I didn't know that. Third quarter, let's go. Oh my gosh, no clipping, no clipping, no clipping, no clipping. Let's go, let's go. First down and 10, plenty of time in this ball game. We gotta figure out a way if we can slow down this Wisconsin offense. Oh, I'm going. Oh my gosh, nope, nope, nope. Right here, second down and inches. Yo, ain't no way, dog. That's me. Second down and two. I'm getting in that backfield, bro. No way. This running back, man. Yeah, and they're going fully out on that run game. No way you get burnt that bad, bro. Oh my gosh. This is what makes a good offense. They can kill you in the run. They can dot you in the pass. You don't know what's coming. All right, huge third down and 10 conversion. We need to convert here on this play. Let me see. I might put him here. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see what we got. Good throw. Give me the first. That's fine. We could go for it. What's up, Dev? I got press coverage on this outside. I just need the first, but I'm feeling a little risky right now. I'm going to push you up the field. All right, here we are, fourth and inches. 
Got him. Easy, baby. That's what I needed. That's what, that's what we're doing. Come on. All right, first and 10. Oh, hit him with the Hesse. Hit him with the Hesse. Second down in inches. This might be it right here. Easy. Give me in there. How about them Cowboys, baby? First down and 10. We're inside the three-minute marker of this game. Let's see if we can continue. Uh, I might actually blitz with Stephen Lane. No, sit his butt all the way down. Every right to be upset about it. Oh, my gosh. That's me. I didn't get my defense in the right spot to succeed there. I'm going to take that. Second down and 12. I got Stephen Lane kind of closing in on the offensive line of scrimmage. It's a run play, but that's going to be gobbled up by the Wyoming defense. That goes nowhere. All right, one minute left to go in this third quarter of play. I got to get this ball down this field, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to bring the noise. Second down and seven. Come on. Oh, the one guy I didn't guard. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He stepped out of bounds. Oh, my gosh. Nope. Sit your butt down, baby. I'm going to take Stephen Lane. Fourth down and four. No way. Sit him all the way down, sir. Let's go. Too many in the box. Otherwise, I'd run it. First down and 10. Take that. Let's go. I might have something here. Second down and three. Let me see what we got off that coverage. Oh, my gosh, bro. He was under. Oh. We got to get this figured out, man. This may be a run play, actually. Yep. Oh, that's a great pull. It's a great pull, bro. All right, here we are, second down and two. No way, bro. All because I didn't run the football. That's me. I got nobody else to blame other than myself. Uh, here we are, third down and four. Massive possession for our team right here. We got to get this first down. Easy. Lonnie Williams, baby. That's what I need. Back on the football, dog. Let's go. Lonnie freaking Williams. I just need to get to that outside. It's all I, I need. Get me out there, Jay Bates. I'll take that. Crucial play here. We got to get this first down. That's easy. That's easy. Keep running the football. That's easy. That's okay. We're going to just keep running this football. Just being nice and safe. Take him all the way to the outside. Oh my gosh! Fine, second down and four. I got my backup running back in. I don't want Jay Bates to get too tired and possibly get injured or fumble. So I got my backup back in right now. Closing in on the one minute marker. It's a beautiful play, bro. Give me all the way into the end zone. That's what I needed. Cowboys back on the board, baby. All right, here we go. One minute left to go in this fourth quarter of gameplay. It all comes down to this drive, ladies and gentlemen. Can we slow them down? Takes that easy route. I knew it. Freaking kidding me, dog. I got Steven Lane. I'm going to take him. First down and 10. I need y'all to be better than that. Where's Willie Perryman? He's not there? That's fine. I'll take Robinson. Nope, that's mine. Interception. Give it back to me, bro. Give it back to me. Give it back to me. Stop playing, dog. I'm done. Yeah. GG's user. Oh, you're making it really tempting. Give it to me. Oh, you're making it so tempting to not go over the top, bro. I know. I see you pressing. Get me out of this matchup, bro. Let's go. It's done. Over with. Get him out of here. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, that will now take you Wyoming Cowboys on a five-game win streak. We are now 4-0 in the Big Ten. Knocked off number six, Wisconsin, and hopefully going to move up even more in the rankings. A lot of season left to play. I'm proud of how my boys performed, especially my Robert Rhodes had himself a ball game. Jay Bates showed up and played. 
defense made some crucial stops, but I got to have a conversation with Mario Harris because that was a very abysmal performance at the quarterback position. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did make it this far of the video, please don't forget to make uh, do me a massive favor and hit that like button. If you're new, drop a sub and let me know below where you're from and who's your favorite squad. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as we continue moving on with our rebuild of Wyoming in the Big Ten Conference. And if you thought this game was interesting, don't go anywhere. We still got the number one team in the entire country we got to go through in our conference in Northwestern. It's going to be a headbanger, ladies and gentlemen. Can't wait to see you on the next episode. Y'all take it easy, man. Peace.